Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. We're playing the Arden Mages on Impossible Difficulty. Last time I uh, explained my tech tree and everything and uh, kind of messed it up a little. I did mean to get the cultivation before the Empire Mint, of course. And, uh, well, I fixed that now. Problem is, though, I already researched one tick on the Empire Mint. So uh, the cultivation would take five turns. So I really had to assign one worker to a science, which is kind of annoying, but that's just the way it is. Aside from that, though, nothing really changed, so uh, let's actually take that turn, shall we? Now, as for colonies, I've been looking around a little bit. This up here, it looks extremely good when you uh, zoom out, but when you move in there, it's not that impressive, like it's rather... Uh, smallish and it's also these anomalies while they're pretty decent I mean not gonna complain they're also not that <clears throat> that extremely good so I think we'll uh, skip this one because there's one province in between here like uh, this small little slither of land and it's directly adjacent to the draken which I really don't wanna you know I don't wanna upset them any more than necessary so uh I've turned, search the temple ruins. A relic of the past. Mm, yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna skip on that. Don't really care for uh, artifacts that early on. And we're just gonna go... Hopefully this here is connected by land. I think if we go up here... Not sure. Anyway, let's see what these guys have for us in terms of quests. And... Uh, Hopefully we can move you now. Yeah, we can. All right. So essentially we didn't really lose anything. Uh, just... Yeah, I just had to switch around my science output, which... <clears throat> yeah, my science order, my, my research order. Jeez. And there we go. We have finished the quest in Sulali. Sulali. I'm not gonna make this song reference. Not that funny, now that I think of it. <laughs> um, what? What's that? Oh, there's a cliff? Yeah, there's a cliff. I wish there would be a possibility to actually rotate the map a little bit. That would sometimes help out with the terrain, because I really thought I could just pass over there. Not that it mattered, like we need to go there anyway. But it uh, just would be a little more convenient sometimes. What do you want? Return to this village with an army that contains F U. Ain't gonna happen. Um, Alright, so this doesn't look too hot. And here's our next neighbor. Purple was the... Oh, it's connected here, isn't it? Possibly. I'm gonna check it out anyway. Could actually... take the safer... No, I can't, because uh, the next quest I think there's gonna be some enemy troops so we actually need to uh, be able to fight them alrighty next time we're gonna have cultivation uh, probably can no I can't move on these all right fine have it your way then let us see what we get here temple ruins uh, blah blah right so we get 15 emeralds and we have to defeat those guys for 15 titanium, which is pretty easy. We're just gonna do auto fight because, yeah, <laughs> that's not gonna. It's just a little bit of damage that we took. There we go. 15 titanium for me. Titanium, really. Titanium. And uh, now we have to. Scope of the searcher has narrowed. Learn something of your brother's investigations by searching two ancient sites. All right, uh, which ancient sites would that be now? I don't want to have the U up. Let me see. No side quests. Uh huh. Oh, we just have to talk to you guys. All right, that's that's cool. I can do that. Um. Let's take the high route here. Hey, there's a ruin. I don't... Yeah, I think we don't need to go over there anymore. That's great. Got lucky once, because uh, we had to search either the the one ruin or the other, and uh, 
I forgot to actually search the ruin. That is that is great. That is just awesome. Um, yeah, <laughs> got a little bit too excited there. Ah, it's all right though. Uh, Pillar of Knowledge has ran out its duration, so we're gonna parlay to you, and you should be able to tell us. Uh huh. Nidia hold an artifact belong to your dead brother, the Transcend Brother. Defeat their army to reclaim the brother's possession. Well, this looks really cool, and the stats seem pretty decent. The problem is it does cost 18 Mithrite, which, uh, not Mithrite, Hyperion, which we currently cannot really afford. And this again looks to be an auto fight. There's nothing I could optimize. Just make sure to focus fire, and uh, probably the AI does that. So uh, here we go. Couple dead units, great, and the story continues. Learn something about blah, blah 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 by searching two ancient sites. Okay, was there something more? No. So now we uh, we possess the finest interrogators. Okay. Well, I gotta. If you love pain, you would probably know how to inflict it. And of course, the queen herself is gonna be present when we torture. Her, sure, because why not? Um, oh, well, this would be pretty cool. So we have to pacify five villages now. And that is the end of our journey for uh, Mr. Tsaraka Atinul, and we're gonna make you into a city governor with that one point, because those guys are pretty good at boosting your science. Uh, they're also pretty good army leaders. Uh, they're in, in essence, they got the same skill set. Oh, I'm uh, switching here. Uh, same skill set as the Draken, uh, with the defense and the. Uh, basically, you can boost every. Um, what should we call it? Every stat with these guys. You can boost the defense, you can boost the attack, the initiative, the life, and somewhere in there. No, we don't have damage, but we do have the damage boost over here, so hooray. Pretty good army leaders, but they need a higher level, and I much rather have a Draken hero to do that job, because they're just better at it. Uh, pretty much. Because of their heal and their superior fighting skills. I don't really use the Art Mage uh, passive skills that much. And. Oh, yes! Silix, hello there. This is. This could be good if the uh, Broken Lords don't decide to go for is sealed. We could probably take that province. Uh, it got spices. Or spice singular, it got uh, titanium, which is good. So that's nicely going to complement our glass steel deposit up here. Speaking of nice, let's get a seed storage. And uh, yeah, let's get that rather fast because I do need a settler. Anyway, where was I? Uh, silix. No, seed storage. Yeah, so the silix would be. Nice, and this region here is all right. It's nothing special. Um, would prefer, of course, a different first region, maybe, but uh, it will do in a pinch. And will connect us to a uh, to a region that has silics in it, which uh, is definitely gonna do well in a pinch. Alrighty, uh, the pillar of things expired, but I'm gonna leave it expired just a second and uh, gonna rebuild it. After we uh, discover the empowerment, uh, let's go over there and see what we can get. Loads of dust, I'm hoping. First step, what? Is to heal the Nidia naturally using the magics involving Riga. Build a total of. Build over a total of two anomalies in your empire. Okay. That is actually very doable. Um, let's see, I don't really want to go for pacification there, I just want to see if there's any... Oh, there's an anomaly here, just plain 30 dust, I'll take that. Um, let's get you out there. Look into that ruin. Wine! Yeah, that's good. Uh, the region doesn't seem to have any more resources though. Ah, of course, I'm one too short, but 
could be that there's something hiding here, but I highly doubt it. So it's just one spice, one titanium, but it's better than nothing. And this region here doesn't even have the spice, it's just titanium. Though it does have a lot of science and dust, which is a resource, or which are resources that we both need. Though with the Art Mages, there's no real um, best resource. Like for the Broken Lords, you of course want to go for dust, and uh, Art Mages don't really have that. They uh, pretty much need all of the resources. Yeah, that wouldn't change a thing, so we could actually do like this. Sure, get that seed storage in two turns. Actually, I'm actually gonna switch it up like this. And uh, get the settler first. Oh, come on. Because the seed storage will just be basically a waste of time, because we uh, don't profit from it while the settler is building. That was kind of stupid. I should have switched there earlier, but I just wanted to have the four population first. And I guess we'll... Uh, nah, no, we'll wait with the, with the pillar. What's the next tech there? Mm, public library is good. And after that we'll need the alchemist furnace and the zealots. Four techs, and that will bring us into era number two. I'm not going for the Aquapolvistics, and I'm not convinced yet that we actually need the the open pit mine. Um, this wealth harvester quest is not really that great, so not gonna do much to get it. It's just 130 emeralds. It's not nothing. Yeah, just nothing that great. Um, And, uh, yeah, the topography could be nice, but we will see about that. Alrighty, you got here, you're moving there. Um, yeah, with you I'm just exploring now. Good, let's get a settler. And I'm probably gonna settle... Alright, oh, whatever. Okay, so this isn't the greatest region here. Um, so I don't want to focus on taking quests over there, actually. Just bring these guys home. Pretty much. And uh, try and find some good quests down here. Come on, come on, come on. Colonize the region of Lingain. Where's that? Isild, Silei, blah, blah. It's probably this region right here. Which uh, has a great rock formation in the middle of it. That's awesome. And so far I only see one Sulik village. And as good as those Siliks are, I'm... one village isn't that useful. Ah, there's a little extra dust. And next time we're gonna get the Empire Mint. And there it goes. And now we're gonna... yeah, yeah, whatever. Now we're gonna rebuild the pillar. Okay, shut the F up. What that... Hail to your grace. Let's hope that we become honorable acquaintances. Yeah, pretty sure we're gonna be at war in ten turns, so there's that. But uh, I'll try. Uh, where do we want to build this? I think here's a good spot. Yep, here's good. Because our next expansion will be just one tile up there. So There we go. Brings the public library down to four turns. Kind of sad that they uh, saw me. Wanted to actually... Yeah, yeah, I know I have boosters. Just shut up. Oh, there's a, a thing. I'm assuming this here is the region they're talking about. Can't see the name yet. Uh, two turns for the settler. Can we steal one more? No, we can't. It's fine. Two turns is decent. Uh, and we do need to pacify these <coughs> these villages here. Whoop. Alrighty, so the first... That's perfect. That's actually perfect. It's a good Broken Lord region. So now they're boundering... Boundering? What? <laughs> 
Welcome uh, to Tector's games where we invent words at our pleasure. They are uh, bordering, I think is the word. I don't know. What are you, army arrows, the treasures? Make a booty yours. Okay, 15 titanium. I'm not gonna fight, actually. Ranged slayers, they're not that great. Uh, we could try. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, manually try that. Uh, we're gonna stay offensive, though. That's great. Don't let them charge too much. Of course, we're gonna be last anyway. I'm just try and get the high ground here. Like so. Yep. Looking good to me. And uh, actually, not gonna give any orders. Just have to see how they're... Like, who they will focus on and target. Those guys are aggressive anyway, so they... Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. But I didn't know, like, the, the order of things. That's great. That's just great. Oh! Nice. And there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Dead little centaur. Uh, so I'm gonna try and kill this guy here. Though again, we really can't... There we go, sweep strike back, thank you very much. We really can't choose the target. Because, uh... Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it, do it! There we go, that's perfect. Uh, you're gonna go here and attack from there, you're gonna go here and attack from there, and you're gonna attack, and there it goes. Again, can't... Oh, God! That was... That was a close one. Ah, uh, sure. God damn your free counter, I hate it! So now we got a lot of titanium. But we also lost a lot of life. And it's just... of course. One of the armies has the booty you seek. Well, this one didn't have it. That was... Uh, that was uh, not very nice game. Not very nice indeed. Suckers! Dignified and peaceful leaders, I hope that your wisdom be taken as an example by other nations. Sure. Let's hope that. I'm hoping that myself. Let's see. Where's the other booty carrying army? Ah, Ling Guy. Alright, so we just need to colonize this here and these guys will be pacified. That is... That's a good deal. I don't mind that. But first things first, we do need... Yeah, that's three turns. Perfect. And uh, now I'm gonna actually give the settler uh, the movement improvement. There we go. Movement improvement, what the hell. Alright, um, so two turns before we get that seed storage. I'm gonna queue up the mint. And now we can actually... Well, no, I want that in two turns. Public library, can we bring you to one? No, we can't. How are we doing for... We need we have four more turns. And uh, we actually... Could afford fought only one of these plants. That's alright though. We're just gonna take one. I gotta remember to fire the wine before we actually settle and probably the dyes, though the wine should actually be enough. So we can enjoy a little fervent period. If, uh, if at all possible. Do a retrofit you know it doesn't really matter, because uh, three turns is fine, but for the second one, which I want to use to colonize Lingwain, I uh, like those with tomato sauce, by the way, um, I need a little more movement, because it's a far trip down here, and soon enough, the roaming armies will start to spawn. So, we gotta prepare for that. I'm probably gonna bring my, bring my boys home. Uh, maybe. Let's see. Oh god, this is a horrible... Oh, it got titanium, though. It got two silix. That's pretty... That's pretty okay, I would say. Because uh, that would be plus one... Not only will it be plus one... 
strategic resource of my choosing, it will hour of of my choosing. Wow, today is not my day really. Um, not only will it be plus one strategic resource, it will also be a blocker unit. And that is a way better than these these ardent uh, Talcium Warlocks can be, and maybe will even save us the time to tech the Enigma Wing. Because the Silix are really, really strong blockers. With their beam ability and they're just... They're just very good. If you... Uh, which game was it where they shined? I think my... Was it Walter's playthrough? I think. Uh, but we do want the Alchemist Furnace pretty soon. So uh, there's that. Steed storage about ready. Empire Mint in four turns. Yeah, things are going all right. Not great, but uh, but all right, I'd say. Take that one turn. Though we're of course behind already by uh, half the points as usual. Just no way in hell we actually keep up in points with those uh, draken. All right, so this time uh, we are gonna fire the wine. There we go, fervent. Um, it's gonna take down. Tick down to 10, so I think I'll also fire the dice. Or do I? No, not for the first, no. Maybe we'll just fire the emeralds, because those are really useless. Hmm, but I could fire those. Nah, I'll do that later. Um, I'll do that later. It's fine. There we go, we're still fervent. These guys are fervent, and these guys are fervent. Just perfectly at 90, which is what I like to see. Get your book club together, and you guys are going to work on that foundry. Like so. What the hell is this region? Oh, yes. Okay, we're definitely gonna Take that. I'm not gonna take that one last step. Let's see what lies over here. Maybe this yarrow region could be one that's interesting. But we're definitely taking the Lingui region now, because it is three still eggs. Are you kidding me? That's gonna be 1.5 extra strategic resource on every strategic resource we harvest. That's pretty, pretty freaking epic. Plus, we get those blockers. So we actually get around tacking the Enigma Wing for a while. I mean, I want it eventually, because it's just really, really good. But we don't have to get it right now, which means we could go for a couple of other techs. And we're probably going to be at war with these guys very soon. So I might want to keep that in mind and uh, go for, for one, some strategic resources. And second, for the alchemical armor, I think, is going to be the first one. Because it has that damage dealing, that damage increasing ring, uh, which probably is going to be more effectful than the alloys. Though I'm not really sure. Anyway, that will do it for the episode again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did or didn't, or any, any uh, comments on my strategy, there's a little comment box. Just use that to your liking, and uh, have a great day. Until next time, goodbye.